Hello, uh, this is Kim Wilcox, and today we're going to be talking about the metric system and converting. Um, the main point of this is uh, usually not for um, younger grades. This is specifically for nursing students. The reason is because when you're working in nursing, the main units you'll need are your kilos, your base units, your millis, and your micros. You will not need to use a centi or, you know, a deci or anything like that. Um, the biggest thing to mention is, of course, your base units. Um, for your base units, your base units for, for nursing will be a gram and a liter. Um, so you're working with grams and liters. So when you convert, the if you see just one letter, um, then you're just converting to the base. Um, when we talk about our kilos, um, the only ones we'll be working with here are kilograms. Um, for your millis, you can either be working with uh, milligrams or milliliters. So if it's a milligram or a milliliter, you would go to the milli. And for your micros, we will only be dealing with a microgram, which is abbreviated MCG. Um, I did put the uh, prefixes or um, in the parentheses also for your gram and your liter. Those are your bases. Again, a base is only one letter. So these are the different units you will be working with. So I'm going to teach it to you two different ways. Okay. This is when you are going to multiply, multiply and divide. Okay, so there's two different ways. You can either multiply and divide with using your calculator, or you can just move a decimal back and forth. Okay, so basically this is the way I show it. So if you're going from a kilogram uh, to a gram, or a gram to a milligram, or a milligram to a microgram, you're going from large to small, because your, your kilos are your large, and your micros are your, uh, sorry, smaller numbers, or smaller units. So, if you're going from a kilo to a micro, or if you're going from a larger unit to a smaller unit, you will be multiplying. Okay, so if you're going from a smaller unit to a larger unit, you're going to be dividing. And every time you multi multiply or divide between each unit, you will be using a thousand on your calculator. Okay, so all you're going to be doing is using your calculator to move uh, to sorry to multiply or divide by a thousand, unless you're jumping units. Um, for a quick example, uh, let's say you had uh, five uh, grams to a milligram. Um, you're starting at the grams, right? Because that's your base unit. So since it's one letter, you're starting at your base unit. And I'm going to a milligram. So millis are going down. So when you're going down from large to small, you're going to multiply. And you're going to multiply by the power of a 1,000 because you're just moving one step. So you'd get 5,000. Okay. So, um, this is multiplying and dividing, so now I'm going to work with um, uh, the moving the decimal instead. So, hold on one second. Okay, this is the screen we were just working on, and I'm going to show you how to do this now by moving a decimal. Okay, um, I, A lot of students used to like moving the decimal. The only difficulty here for some people is with moving a decimal, sometimes we forget to drop trailing zeros or to put a leading zero. Um, with the, if you're using the calculator, it automatically does it for you. Okay, So we've got the same concept here. The large units are at the top, the small units are at the bottom. So for this, we use the same um, picture. It's just that we're moving a decimal. Again, so if you're going from a large unit to a small unit, if you notice, the arrow is going down and to the right. So that means you're going to be moving the decimal to the right. Okay. 
So if you're going from a small unit to a large unit, notice that the arrow is going up and to the left. So you're just going to move the decimal to the left. And every time you move the decimal, this time you'll be moving it three. The reason we move it three is because it's like multiplying or dividing by a thousand, which is the powers of three. Okay, so now we're going to practice. Okay, so I have 24.81 kilograms to a gram. So I have, uh, you can do it one of two ways, and I'll show you both here. So I've got 24.81 kilograms to grams. So kilo is your large unit. You're going down to a gram. Okay, so when you're going from a kilogram to a gram, you're going to go down, which is multiply, and you will always multiply by the thousand. Okay, and when you do that, you would get two, four, what was this, a four, eight, one, zero. Okay, one, two, three. and I usually move the decimal, so again, it's hard to read this number. Let's fix that. Okay, so I've got two, four, eight, one, zero. And a little comma in there so you can see the difference of the numbers. It looks like a decimal. There we go. Okay, so if you're moving the decimal, though, it's the same number you start with. And this time, again, we're going down. And when we go down, we go to the right. And every time we go down, we're moving three times. So one, two, three. So this is where the decimal ends. You fill in the holes with a zero, and you get two, four, eight, one zero again you get the exact same number um it's just that one's moving the decimal and one is um, multiplying or dividing so for the next one i have nine five two seven and i'm going from a microgram to a milligram so this time i'm going up so when you go up you're going to divide by a thousand or again you can move the decimal so if you divide by a thousand on your calculator, it automatically pops up 9.527. Now for metric to metric, you never ever round. Okay, whatever is behind the decimal stays there. The only time you round is when you have been taught to round. So if I'm moving the decimal, I'm going from 9527. The decimal would technically be at the end. So when I'm going from a milli to a micro, I'm going up the stairs and I'm going to move it three because each step is three. So when you rewrite it again, you get 9.5.527. Okay. So for this, I'm not going to do the whole work for the rest of them, but I'm going to tell you when to multiply or divide and and or how to move the decimal. So here I'm going from a liter to a milliliter. So if you have a single letter, that's just your base. So basically, I'm going from my base down to my milli. So when I'm going down, I'm going to be multiplying by a 1,000. Or I move the decimal. So if I move the decimal, it would look like this. Okay. So I usually do it on the problem that's just sitting there. And I say, okay, one, two, three. Okay. And then I fill in the holes with zeros. Okay, so then I would get either way, 864200 would be your answer. Okay, so we don't try to evaluate what the number means. All we're doing is moving a decimal back and forth. For the next one, I'm going from a milligram to a gram. Um, so one letter is a base, so I'm going up this time. When I go up, I'm going to divide by a 1,000. Or I'm going to move the decimal. So I'm going to go ahead and move the decimal since I'm going up. I'm going to move it to the left. One, two, three. That's my new decimal. And then you fill in the holes with zeros. So you get, now if you move the decimal, you would get zero, zero, point zero, zero, nine, two, six, four. Again, we do not round in the metric system. You never round unless you're told to. The only issue with moving the decimal is you can't forget to put the leading zero. Um, if you typed it into your calculator, it would automatically put that zero there for you. Okay, so next one I'm going from a milli to a milliliter to a base. Okay, one letter is a base. So I'm going from milli 
to base. So I'm going up, which is you're going to divide by a thousand, or you're going to move the decimal to the left. So one, two, three. Okay, fill in the holes with zero. So I get point zero two five, and you cannot forget to write a leading zero. Okay. Okay, this will be our last page of problems. Um, I'm going to solve them the exact same way I did a minute ago. For this, I just wanted to make sure we put in some micrograms. So, for this one, I'm going from a gram to a kilogram. Okay, so gram is your base. You're going up to the kilo. When you go up, you divide by a thousand. Or you move the decimal, since you're going up to the left, three times, two, three your new decimal, fill in the holes with, that's a zero, with zeros. So again, you cannot forget to put a leading zero in front, zero, zero, seven, one, six, and we do not round. Okay, so now we're going from a kilo to a milli. Now if you notice for this, you're going from, um, when you go kilo, kilo, base, uh, milli, and micro, I'll put an MC. When you're going from for these, um, you're going to notice that you're going from the kilo, which is here, okay, and then you're going to the base, and then you're going to the milli. So you're going two different times. Um, seldom do you get this, um, but sometimes you do. So what you would do is for this one, you would take 28, and let me write it 28, and you would divide by a thousand. Okay, when you do that, you go from kilo to base, but you still have to go down to your milli. So that means you're going to get that number, which is uh, 0 0.028, I believe. And you're going to divide by 1,000 again because you're going down twice. And then you should get, that's going to be a long one, 0. Point, my point never shows up, point zero zero. 0028. I'm assuming I did that correctly. Um, I'm going to go to the bottom though and write the, uh, if I was moving the decimal so I can double check. And I just did that really, really wrong. Um, apologize. I can't go back and take it back. I am wrong. You are multiplying. Okay. So when you go down, you multiply. My apologies. Sorry. So here you would take, I guess I was looking at the top one. So I take 28 and I'm going to multiply by a thousand. Okay, and you get 28,000. Um, the difference is I just, I divided instead of multiplied. Okay, um, 28 times 1,000 is 2800000. Zero, 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 zero. And that should be what's on your calculator. But again, let me move my decimal and double check. Um, I usually move the decimal instead of using the calculator. So when I move a decimal, then I don't think, I know I'm missing a zero. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's try it here. I'm moving the decimal one, two, three, and then one, two, three. So I do need an extra zero up top. Uh, that's where I went off. There's an extra zero in there. Now let me rewrite my number. Two, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and then throw in some commas. So my apologies on that one. Um, so you should have 28 million. Um, the biggest thing here is you can multiply by a million right away because you're going down. The biggest thing here is just don't use 2,000. Um, for the next one, you're going from a milli to a micro. We haven't done that one yet. So for a milli to a micro, you're going milli to micro. So you're still going down. So when you down, go down, you're going to multiply. And since you're going milli to micro this time, you're only going once. So you multiply by a 1,000. Um, if I move the decimal, I would move it 1, 2, 3. And then I would add in the zeros on the end. Um, I think I had 6, 2.1 was my answer. This is equals, or my original number. Um, so 1, 0, 0. Anything over a thousand is helpful to put a comma so you can see it. 
Um, for this next one, again, notice this is the one where I did the accident from last time. So we're going from a micro to a gram. Okay, so let me fix this right here so you can see it. Okay, so I'm going from a micro. Let's use yellow. So we're going from the micro and we're going all the way to the gram. So you have to go twice. And each time you go twice, you're going to do the thousand. Um, and this is where I made the mistake earlier, but we're going to go the right way this time. So I have 63.8, um, and you're going to divide by a thousand. And when you do that, you're going to get a number on your calculator, and then you would divide by a thousand again. Okay. Now for me, I move a decimal, so I'll do it down here. I've got, and it's going to be a lot. So 63.8. And so I'm going to move up. So up is to the left. One, two, three. Then I do it again. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And there's my big decimal. And then I fill in the holes with zeros. So my final answer would be, don't forget the zero in front. Zero, zero, zero. One, two, three, four zeros. One, two, three, four zeros. Six, three, eight. Now I've given you very large numbers here. Um, again, we don't round. If you have one that's moved so many, um, you might want to double check. Um, as you saw up or, up top, I forgot a zero along the way. It's very easy to lose zeros even in the calculator. Uh, last one, I have 81 milliliters, so I'm going from a milliliter to a, a liter. So I'm going from the milli to the base. This time I'm only going one. And when I'm going milli to the base, I'm going up. When I go up, I divide by a thousand. For me, I would move it three times. So one, two, three. And then fill in the hole with a zero. Either way, zero point, that's an equals, zero, eight, one. Okay. Again, my apologies, 28 uh, kilograms to mi milligrams. I did it wrong at the beginning. I will put that in the comments so you'll be aware of it. Um, but I, I hoped that helped a little bit with the metric system. Talk to you all later.